at Media Day. Also have Howie Lindsay uh, alongside with us. I have to follow up on something. The uh, the Trey Lewis, Damian Lee impromptu rap at ACC Media Days also had some NC State players. I don't know if it was a rap, a freestyle piano, whatever. Um, it had Cat Barber, and if you remember, Cat Barber may or may not have wiped a booger in Montrez Harrell's hair last year. <laughs> what were you thinking when you saw that internet vine or meme kind of go around Twitter? Uh, I, ain't, I ain't know what was really going on. I just saw the video. <laughs> I ain't know if he wiped a booger. I don't know. I ain't know. I, I, well, the I booger just was from last year, and yeah. so there's kind of like a rapping with the enemy type thing that was going on at ACC Media Day. Oh, I don't, I don't think they know about it, probably. <laughs> I didn't even know that they was rapping at, at Media Day. You didn't see now. that? You haven't seen that yet? No, nah, I ain't seen that. Oh, you got to be lying. You haven't seen that? Mm -hmm. I didn't know they was rapping. It, it's actually not bad news? for, yeah, it's not bad for a freestyle. Yeah. Um, who, who is the best, who's got the best rap game on the Probably uh, Damien or uh, Jalen. Jalen can rap? Yeah. Okay. All right, back to basketball a little bit. What, what is your focus this year? What do you want to do on the court? Uh, just help my team win it any way we can, you know. If coach asked me to do something, then I'll, be, then I'll just be happy to do it. What did you learn year one? Uh, I learned a lot year one, you know, learning from Coach P and learning how the offense is and learning how we play defense and how everybody expects us to do good. Was it difficult? Uh, it wasn't really difficult because, you know, I had other players from the years before tell me how, they, how it is and what they expected us to do. You look like you've, you're, like, jacked up, like you've lost some weight maybe or you've thinned out or maybe you've got even more mu muscular. How have you changed your body knowing that Rick Pitino is uh, is big on body fat index and everything? How have you changed your body in the offseason? Uh, I lost a lot of body fat. Uh, the last time we checked was probably, I think, last week I was, like, 6.8 body fat. What was it last year? Do you remember? When I first came in, it was probably like 10 or 11. So you lost literally 4 to 5 percent body fat. Yeah. Half of the body fat off your body is now gone because yeah. of this program. Yeah, and you know, I put on a lot of muscle. Most of my weight now is, I think, is muscle now. How does that help you? What, what, what do you feel differently with that? Uh, no, I feel stronger, you know. I feel like I can check anybody or I can go up against anybody. Was there any disrespect? I think the ACC uh, media hacks had you guys like seventh. Uh, in the conference. Uh, you think you're better than that? Uh, yeah, I think we are better than that, but you know, time will tell. What's the ceiling for this team? Uh, I don't think there is one. We set our own ceiling, you know. It depends on how we play. We the, we the one that go out and play, so we just got to play to our potential. What do you think it's going to take to get to that, get to your potential? Uh, we got to uh, tell you, uh, help the new people get learn the Louisville way, and, you know, defense is first. It's not just offense. What did Damien and Trey add to this team? They added experience in scoring because, you know, last year we lost four scores. So that's what they brought to the team, experience in scoring. I'll give it the other way. What have the freshmen, the young guys, brought to this team? Uh, they brought a new attitude, you know. They make it more fun, you know, lively. What, what have you told if uh, your boy Dang Adele over there, if he does start? You know, not a lot of true freshmen start for Rick Pitino. You started a lot of games for Rick Pitino. What have you told him if he, in case he does log a lot of minutes this season as a true freshman? Uh, you probably not. Probably not let it get to his head, you know, just keep keep cool and play the way coach wants you to play. How has the focus been with all of the off-the-court stuff? Has that got into the locker room? Has that bothered anybody's focus? What have you guys talked about as a team with all that going on? I mean, coach, you know, he came up and talked to us about it, but he just told us not to focus on it, you know, just keep focusing on basketball and our schoolwork. Is it difficult because you, you go on campus, you have people ask you stuff. What do you normally say? Uh, I mean, I probably like try to not answer the question, or you know, just keep it moving. Yeah. But do you get asked a bunch? Uh, I mean, I haven't really got asked like a lot, a lot, but you know, a couple people ask me about it. How, how, what are some methods that you all use to stay focused with all the stuff going on? Uh, you know, just trying to stay within the team. You know, try to like keep that team bond together. Who's going to be the most improved player from last year to this year, besides yourself, of course? Um, I say Jalen Johnson. You know. I think he's coming out of his shell more, getting more confidence.